Hi, I'm Matt Noragi with FutureLogic. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade your FutureLogic's Gen 3 Evolution firmware by simply using a USB thumb drive. No PC needed, no software needed. Takes about one minute to do this. You'll need a couple of files, a firmware file and a control file. You'll get both of these from FutureLogic. Make sure and open the control file using Notepad. You might need to double click on it, which might launch Notepad, but if it doesn't, make sure you open that file with Notepad. Now let's make sure the file name under the line file path underscore one matches the firmware file that you're going to install. If you wish, you can go ahead and copy the file name from your desktop and paste it under the file path underscore one line. Save the file when you're finished. Before we move on, we need to make sure Windows is displaying all file extensions on your computer. Just follow me along here, double click on my computer, choose the organize pull down menu, and select the folder and search options. Click on the view tab. Simply make sure that the hide extensions for known file types is unchecked. Click on apply and now double check your control file's name. Look for an extension and if it does have a TXT extension, let's make sure and remove that. Accept the changes. With the file extension removed from the control file, we can move to the next step. Next, we need a USB drive that's been formatted using the FAT32 file system. Let's go ahead and format the USB drive just to be sure. Right click on your USB drive and select the format option. Be sure the FAT32 system is selected and go ahead and click on start and that'll format your drive. Go ahead and accept all the options and once you're done, we're ready to copy the control file and the firmware file onto the USB drive. It's probably a really good idea to use a different USB drive for every different firmware you have on the floor. In this case, we're ready to go. Simply grab the two files and drag them over to the USB drive. Once the files are copied over, your USB drive is ready to go. To connect the USB drive to the printer, you'll need a USB type A to a USB mini type B adapter. Basically, you'll need to hook up the USB thumb drive to the type A portion of the adapter. That's a female connector. Once you've done that, this cable is now ready to be hooked up to the printer. It's always a good idea to print out a configuration ticket before you do any kind of updating to the printer. Simply press the feed button twice and you'll get a printout of the existing configuration. Next, we want to go ahead and power down the printer. Go ahead and open up the lid. And we need to access the USB port that's under the lid to update the firmware. You'll need your USB drive and cable. And insert the Type-B portion of the cable into the USB port under the lid. Once you've done that, you need to power up the printer and wait about 30 to 40 seconds. You'll notice the LED lights will flash once. And once that happens, you are done. You can go ahead and disconnect the cable, close the lid, and probably a good idea to go ahead and print out a new configuration ticket. Press the feed button twice and confirm that you've got the latest firmware installed on the printer.